Warning! The following video is over-exaggerated. Most opinions shared aren't accurate to my thoughts and feelings. Building this was basically a dream come true. Let's just be honest. Okie dokie! The front of this box is really boring. It's just the block. As cool as this is, why is the LEGO set built inside a question mark block? Speaking of questions, why was this block used when it's not in Super Mario 64 to begin with? I love the website's description. Peach's Castle, bob -on Battlefield, Cool Cool Mountain, and Lethal Lava Trouble. Not land, it's trouble now. The same mistake is found further down the page too. Oh come on, we're back to the manual again. What happened to the convenient mobile app? You can technically get a PDF of the book, but you can't move the instructions around in 3D. That's really too bad. Celebrating Mario 64, a gold banner. Where have I seen this before? Hmm. You can't tell me that this guy in the green shirt isn't Aaron Hansen in some random alternate universe. Mario takes a high velocity shortcut across the bridge. Uh, the cannon? I guess that's one way to put it. Here we go, to Cool Cool Mountain, from high atop the mountain summit, to Snowman's Land. Ah, oh, funny enough, Snowman's Land is an actual stage in the game. You can't show me a picture of the Cool Cool Mountain Snowman and assume that you'll fool us. Mario must push the bullies off the platform. Ugh, again, that's wrong. You literally can't push them. You must jump, jump kick, or ground pound them. It's Bowser, Mario's powerful nemesis. Yeah, the same guy that can get thrown hundreds of feet through the air from a chunky plumber. The question mark block, an iconic staple of the Super Mario series, didn't appear in Super Mario 64. Wait a second. You were fully aware of that from the get-go and still went with it as the final design? I, I just, what? The minifigures are adorable, but an actual full set of these levels would have been even cooler. Mario is just three tiny pieces with a mustache drawn on. The best, worst Mario I've ever seen in my life. Okay, but for real, why does he look like a gnome? He's not a Gnoblin. He's not a Gnelf. Not even a Gnome. He's a Gamario. Then you've got Peach, which is just two blocks and a thin block for the ponytail in the back. Perfection. They made Yoshi bigger than Mario for some reason, but hey, at least you can finally ride him. Well, you can ride the top of his head, at least. The tiny paintings inside the castle are amazing, but this is not at all what the actual game layout looks like. Not even close. Nice try, but the floating island is being held up by the transparent stick. Got him! You can't fool me, Lego, it's not actually floating. Imagine if King bob was actually scaled this big in the game. He would be so much more difficult. I like how the baby penguin is basically the same size as the mama penguin. Also, I can't throw the baby penguin off a ledge anymore because Mario doesn't have arms. I mean, I guess I can do it if I want, but it's just not the same. It's really strange how the eyeball and King bob were made into little spears, but the big bully isn't. It's a really weird inconsistency. The Bowser puzzle pieces are a great touch, but they don't actually move. Boo. Over 2,000 pieces, and most of them are dedicated to the question mark block. I kind of hate that. I can't even be LJ. I can't believe this. I'm gonna go complain now. Wow. What is going on with this Lego piece? It doesn't want to go in! A lot of the steps tell you to collect multiple pieces to build all at once, and then add that to a bigger structure. That makes a lot of sense. And then there's step 95. This one tells me to get this piece twice. Thank you, thank you. Bowser is too cute for his own good. I mean, just, just look at him. 64 pieces, huh? Hey, <laughs> you think you're so clever, don't you? You are, you are, I'll admit it, you are. I just wanna point out that this log moves. Yep, they actually made the log move. I'm trying to use my imagination here, but this hardly counts as a Lekitu. Lego Mario can now throw Bowser without arms. Bowser should really find a new career at this point. I would just give up. There's a secret way to make small Luigi. Just replace the red piece with the green one that's the exact same size, and boom, Luigi is real. So you can get Power Stars with normal Lego Mario and Luigi, and while that's kind of cool, it doesn't seem to work that well. I gotta be honest, this is the most fun I have ever had building a Lego set, especially a Lego Mario set. It's too bad it's a minifigure and it's still a little too expensive for most people, but this thing is freaking awesome. And honestly, I just want to play Mario 64 now. Oh, Nintendo. I don't have time to make a skit with Lego Mario and Lego Luigi, so what we're doing today is I'll be showcasing Lego Mario 64 
Mario 64. Is that the name? I don't even know what we're gonna call it. But here's the mod. I've barely seen it. All I've seen is just this Mario. I love him. I mean, come on. How can you not love this? He's fantastic. And uh, basically, this is a mini. Ha this is a mini hack. It's only five stars. And the goal here is to just get all the stars. So I'm gonna go ahead and check out everything. Um, the only reference material he had was based off the website. So uh, he he really followed this like to a T. You know, he did a pretty damn good job making sure this is as accurate as possible. Um, it's not perfect. Oh, bully fight. Okay. So I guess that's gonna be one of the stars. All right. Well, this ought to be pretty easy. I can't imagine this is gonna take that long. So there you have it. There's the star. Very cool. I also love how he kept the, the peace sign. That's really funny. Um, but anyway, okay, so I, I guess that's it for the Lava Land. Let's see what else we have. So now we're going to go ahead and go into bob and Battlefield. <laughs> it's so tiny. I do wish that I, uh, the Chain Chomp was here. That would have been, you know, a nice little feature. Uh, but, you know, again, we wanted to try to stick with the Lego aesthetic. Uh, wow, that actually works. Okay. Well, there you have it. Star number two. Also, the uh, entire question mark block is modeled, although I don't believe there's any use for it. I was kind of messing around with it earlier, and I didn't really see a good use. All right, let's go. You know, let's go and check out Cool Cool Mountain. This is basically just climbing up, like, the slide, I guess. I'm assuming the star is going to be up here. Yes. Okay. All right, well, that was pretty easy. So let's see what's next. I'm guessing it's going to have to be in Peach's Castle, right? That's probably where the star is going to be, because we've gotten one in every other area. Ooh, Peach! And they even, even made Peach exactly the same as well, with the super straight ponytail. Can I talk? Tell me I'm a pretty princess. You are a pretty princess, Peach. Yo, let's go! That's how we get the star. That's hilarious, dude. I love that so much. All right, awesome. So one more star. I have no idea where it's going to be. It is way back there. That is not an easy spot. I'm actually not sure I'm going to reach that. Let's try uh, Let's try this. Is that going to work? That's going to work. There you have it. And that is the entire hack right there. That is Lego Mario 64, Mario 64. Uh, and that's it. There's no ending cutscene or anything. That's the entire thing. So if you want to go check it out for yourself, you can go to, I believe, Case Clips. There'll be a video for you to click on. Uh, but Thaniel is also speedrunning this game. With all that said, thank you so much for watching. We have lots more videos coming very soon.